Hey guys, Glory to back with another car boot haul. Yes, we've finally been hitting some more car boots. Uh, had the week off, so we took the time this weekend to hit one Saturday and Sunday. And uh, got two car boots out of the way, and as you see, we've got plenty of stuff to get through. So, the first one we hit. Oh my god, it was dreadful. It was the worst car boot we've been to so far. It was on the Saturday, it was down in Colville. And we got there relatively early, pulled into the kind of car park on the field, and we can only see about six stalls. I said to Mrs. Look, there's not worth us both paying to get in here and have a look around. If you want to sit in the car, because it was quite cold, you sit in the car in the wall, I'll have a quick run around, see if there's anything worth going, get in, and then we'll just head back, get some sleep. So I went in, paid my 50p. And there was six or seven stalls, it was dire. They were, and they were crap, sunny crap, but there was one stall, and it was two, I think, Polish guys, and they had all kinds of um, electrics, cables and shit, and they had a stack of games. And I was just looking through them, nothing really that I wanted. I was like, oh, how much for the games? He's like, two quid. I was like, is that two quid each? And he's like, no, no, I have the lot for two quid. I was like, okay, so there's five games, two quid. I get more than that back in profit. Gave him two quid, took these. So, what a wasted journey. We got on the PS3, like I say, these are going in for trade. I don't even have a PS3. FIFA 12, get about a penny for that. But, like I said before, I've got them um, vouchers where you get an extra pound when you trade something at CEX. So, one pound and a penny for that. Tiger Woods 10, again, not much for that. You can pass, I think it's about 40p, then we get the extra quid. Rainbow Six Vegas 2, uh, again, I think that's about 60p trading, but the extra quid as well. Fable 3 uh, on the Xbox. Let me just check on this. I believe you get £1.40 credit for that. Plus I'm going to get an extra pound, so £2.40 on that game alone, that's my credit, my credit, my profit and money back. Plus the other bit, so we've got a bit of profit there. And the last game was actually an original Xbox game, Project Gotham Racing 2. However, when I opened it, the disc inside is Van Helsing. Now I don't know what to do with this, I can't trade it in and see it as it is, they probably won't take it. I do have a guy who takes in discs. So I can trade the disc in on its own, I don't know how much you'll give me, uh, but get some of that. Or, I don't actually have Van Helsing, but do I really want just the disc? I'd rather have, obviously, the case as well, so I don't have to keep hold of it for now, or what. So I'll see how much the guy will give me for the disc, see what kind of credit I can get for it. It's probably not going to be much, and we'll get bad shot out, so I don't know what's happening with that in a minute. Right. The good car boot, the one with the big haul. Went over again to Meesham on the Sunday. I've literally just got back from it, trying to keep stuff fresh in my mind. I mean, I got back home and I was trying to remember what I paid for some of the stuff, and I just couldn't remember most of it. I mean, I just sat down for ages, like, how much did we get these for? How much did we get these for? I read it all down, just so I could see what kind of profit we're going to make on the ones that are going to be trading in, just to work out how well we did. We did all right, actually, I think. Uh, it was like 42 quid profit going to get out of all of this, so not too bad. Um, it was in a different field this time. Uh, we went to the old field, but luckily the, the field they moved to was like four minutes down the road, so managed to get down there. And it was still a relatively big, big field. It was a massive car boot, plenty of stuff there. So, what did we get? Started off, not games, but gaming related, two Halo novels. Now, I've been after these ones for quite a while. It's the original ones from the original Xbox, and we've got The Fall of Reach and The Flood. Now, I know there's a third one in this particular set, I think, called First Strike. Um, hit me in the comments if that's not right, or if you know which one it is. I'm pretty sure it's First Strike. Um, and these are absolutely brand spanking new. Like, the spines haven't even been cracked, they haven't been read. So, picked them up, I think, for 50p. So that was great, but like I say, been after them for a while, got my other Halo novels and um, gaming novel books, so they'll go on my bookshelf with them. Speaking of which, yeah, we've got the new setup, 
the room's still not finished. We've got this part done, so I've got a decent enough backdrop for you guys to uh, get a bit of a look at. Um, you'll see it all when, it, when it's properly finished. Like I say, it's still early in the morning, so on the ginger beer, living life. But on to the games. So the first door we kind of came to, again, not particularly great games, just going for profit. And I'm not going to get that much from them, but whatever. So uh, again, <laughs> got another copy of Tiger Woods 10. Um, actually, let's do them in order. So we've got Tiger Woods 9, 10, and 11. So set of three there. And FIFA 11 again, so we're football. Um, but paid for those. 50p. Um, looking at my list, which I had wrote down and still got lost. Yeah, I don't know, about 50p. So I'm gonna get at least a quid on each of them vouchers, plus whatever they're worth trading. Like the fee was a penny. Some of the tie boards 40, 60p. Not much, but it's a start. And then moving along, there's another guy with a stack of again PS3 games. Just looking at them purely for profit to get some of the stuff I want. And we picked up Need for Speed Pro Street. I believe that's worth actually like four quid trading and five with my vouchers. Uh, Fight Night Round 4, again, it's like one pound summit trading. And Madden NFL 10. Couldn't actually find this on the CSCEX website. Could find the game for the 360 and the Wii, but not the PS3 version. So. I have no idea why that is, if they don't take the PS3 version, I'm going to try and trade it in, if not, there are other places I can take it. Um, again, you wanted, you wanted 50p for that, and I think a quid each for them, um, but I gave him, I offered him two quid for the three, and he took it, so I got the money for free anyway. We've actually got five um, consoles for you today to look at, so they're the PS3 games out of the way. Um, we've got some PS2 titles for you here. Picked up a bunch from a guy. Um, he wanted, I think it was 50p each, which was obviously three quid for the six. And I offered him 250 and he took it, so we got one free. We've got Medal of Honor Rising Sun. <laughs> I didn't even look at him. Charlie's Angels. Oh, wow, I bet that is dreadful. Smackdown, shut your mouth. Or Kogan. There's nothing about wrestling than that. We have The Sims Platinum and The Sims 2. A bit of credit for that. And this one I will probably keep just because I've not really heard of it that much. And I don't know, it might be okay for a quick blast. America's 10 Most Wanted. Um, I don't know, it's a first person shooter, I don't know if it's a, just a first person shooter, if it's like a sniping game or what kind of game it is, but oh yeah, snipers go for long missions and cleaning rooms and what have you, so yeah, we'll give that a blast, I'll add that one to the collection instead of trading in. Moving on. Another stack of PS2 games before. Um, again, the guy wanted 50p each for him, uh, so two quid for the four. I offered him 150, and he just he kind of looked and thought, like, "Nah, man, there's, there's two quid worth of games there." And I was like, "Yeah, okay, cool, get him two quid, no problem." Uh, one I'm definitely adding to the collection. It's a game I've heard a lot of people talk about. Never played it myself. Killzone, so one of the better titles we've got, and this one as well will be going into the collection. Wipeout Fusion. Now, I have Wipeout on the original PlayStation, uh, the original Wipeout, so we'll add that in. And inside the Wipeout, there's actually two discs. We've got the Wipeout game and a demo disc. It's the only demo disc. I'm not sure if this is one I've already got. I'll put it in and try it. If not, I'll see if I can get smoke for that as well. So, extra. Always check your cases. Uh, I already have this game, so it's be traded in. It's Hitman Contracts. Uh, 
true. And another one to be traded in, Grand Theft Auto 3. I get a bit flat, I think so, yeah, this one's actually, it's got the map in, but not the manual, so I think I've got a spare manual for that, so we'll pop that in, if not, whatever, it's got the map in there, it's a bit traded in. Then we found a guy with good selection of games, he's always there, got a few bits off him in the past. Um, he had a couple of OG Xbox games, two that I've been after and two that I've heard are some of the best on the system. Um, so I picked these up, he wanted two quid each, I offered three quid for the two, he took it, so here we are, 150 each. Blood Wake on the OG and Crimson Skies on the OG. So many people have said that these games are like top notch, so definitely give these blasts. I mean I'm not really a flight sim kind of fan, but after hearing how good it is, I'll give it a go. And I suppose the water effect on this game is supposed to be amazing. So, yeah, give them a go. Add them to the OG collection. Moving on. Another PS2 title we got. This will be going in the collection. SSX, the first original SSX on the PS2. Um, the guy wanted, I think, a quid for it. At the time, I had like a, a bag of 10 peas that I'd been saving off the cobu. And I had 8 left, so I had 80p, and I was like, we can we take just 80p for it? Like, this is the last I've got. He's like, yeah, sure, it's cool. So 80p for SSX. Then another guy with a stack of PS2 games. Um, he also wanted 50p each. Like, usually you go with people like, oh, a pound, two pound a game. Like, today, everyone just wanted 50p for the game, so it was great. Like, trading in, especially with my vouchers, getting an extra pound on top of whatever trading I'm getting, the profits adding up. Um, so, we had two, seven games, 50p each, was 350, offered him a th three quid, he took it, so we, again we got a game free as well. Um, we got the Herbs, Simpson City, the Simpson Skateboarding, Monopoly Party, Need for Speed Underground, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, uh, a little bit of credit for that one, that's why I picked it up, as well as this one. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, worth quite a bit as well, not like extortionate amount but more than 50p. And this one as well, Sonic Heroes Platinum. Uh, picked up the, most, the kind of choice of titles that he had, he had a lot of um, like Sing Star games and stuff but I didn't really know much about them, how much they're going for and worth the training so I left them. Uh, so those ones we picked up, <coughs> excuse me, I don't know which ones probably be trading them all in but if there are any good titles in there that you recommend me keeping for my collection please hit it down in the comments and I'll just pop it in the collection instead like I say we've got quite a bit of profit anyway so it's all good and then we found a guy with a whole bunch of 360 Kinect titles uh, three of them I already had I think it was like Kinect Sports, Kinect Ventures and the Fable The Journey had them through already so I left them uh, but these two, one I've been after for a while and one I kind of bought for the girlfriend. So we have one for me, Connect Star Wars, and one for her, Connect Disneyland. I uh, don't know much about them, I've heard Star Wars isn't as good as they made it out to be. It's like dancing games and shit, but whatever, it's going with the Connect collection. They were, you wanted two quid each, I believe. Um, uh, I offered him 350 and he took it, so got him for 350 in the end. I came across a woman with, again, a stack of PS2 games. She wanted a pound each for these. Uh, I gave her 150 in the end, so that's fine. I she wanted the 150. Grand Theft Mode 3 A Spec and Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Bit of trading on this one. Uh, I've already got it, so we go straight into trade. Also, he shared another copy of Grand Theft Auto 3. So I open it up. Tekken 3 on the PS1 inside. <laughs> she only had PS2 games, I don't know why there's a PS1 game in there. All the others had, I checked all the other cases in case um, they added a copy of Grand Theft Auto 3. It wasn't there, so she lost it, misplaced it, whatever. She said, oh no, I can't sell that now, and kind of took it off. And I went off walking, and we were slow walking around, I'm thinking, I might go and see if she'll offer, like, what she'll take for that, Tekken 3, because the disc alone is probably still worth a, a bit of money, like, I, I've got a guy who buys single discs, so, 
you give me something for it. And it's Tekken 3, right? So, went back, she said, I said, have you still got that game? She said, yeah, yeah, I've still got it. I says, what do you want for it? Like, I will take it off you. Yeah. And she says, oh, you can have it 50p. So like, okay, sorting through what change I had left, which was like nothing. No, I only had notes, so I won't give her a note for it. And we scraped together 40p, <laughs> like pennies and 5p's. And I was like, I've got 40p, will you take 40p for it? She says, yeah, that's fine. So I gave her the 40p for it, so I've got 40p for Tekken 3. Um, I'm hoping to get at least a couple of quid on that trading. It's like I say, it's Tekken 3, it's one of the best in the series. Uh, but we'll see, so I don't know what I'm going to get on that yet. And the last game. Came across a guy, again, we go to all the time, he's always there, got a massive game selection. Um, a lot of stuff I'd already got I weren't really interested in and his prices are quite high because he knows what he's talking about anyway so I weren't making much profit on them. Uh, as I was flicking through I came across this on the Wii. Now I'd not even heard of this game before and it's from a series, a well known series which I am into so I don't know how I haven't heard about this game. Probably because it's a Wii exclusive maybe and obviously I didn't really deal with Wii too much but I just started collecting for it. Um, but having a good look at it and I was like wow this is probably either a really rare title because I've never seen it or heard of it before um, or it's probably worth maybe a bit of money because it's a little bit rarer maybe I don't know. Um, I said to the guy how much is this one and he looked and he was like actually I don't know. I don't know nothing about this game. I was like, all right, okay. He says, do you know how much they're selling before he CEX? I was like, I don't. I've like never really seen it before. So it's like, hang on a minute. Guess on his phone, scans the barcode and CEX. It's like, oh, it's going for what have you? Not as much as I thought it was. So like, okay. Um, he says, he said, I think he said he was on CEX and then it's going for eight quid. Uh, but I'll give it you for six. So like, okay, fair enough. Uh, I said we take five. I'm trying to be a bit cheeky. He's like, mm hmm. Over and I said, no, six quid. So that, that's fine. Give him the six quid. Just want it in the thing. It's a Final Fantasy game on the wing. Final Fantasy Fables Chocobo's Dungeon. Like I say, never heard about it. Don't know anything about it. Don't know what it's like. But it's a Final Fantasy game. So. Can't wait to play it and get into it. About chocobos, maybe some kind of dungeon crawler by the name of it. Um, if you've played it, if you know about it, hit me in the comments. Let me know. Is this a good game? Um, I just wanted to add it to the collection. Is it rare? Um, no idea. Let me know. So, there's our car boot haul for this weekend. <coughs> Sorry, I'm just getting over my flu. And we will be going again next weekend because I'm still on holiday trying to get this room sorted out and what have you. So if we get any more, I'll be doing another video. Uh, subscribe to see them videos. Massive thanks to all the subscribers I've been getting lately and everyone for sticking with me. So really appreciate it. Everybody who's liked my videos, again, really appreciate it. And if you've enjoyed this video as well, pop us a like, it helps me out, that's, that's great. Um, any comments on any of the games I've picked up today, pop them down in the comments. Like I say, I spent 20, all together in both car boots, £28.20 I spent today. And I worked that out, if I traded up in, the, not the ones that I'm keeping, but the ones I'm trading in, worked it out to be, I think it was £47.93 profit. So, not bad. Almost, almost 50 quid profit. So I'll be banging that into CEX so I'm the other place that takes my single disc and we'll be getting a few choice here uh, more high price titles for that profit this time instead of getting a stack of low price games we're just going for a few more of the more expensive better titles and adding them to the collections we've got quite a good decent profit this time um, so stay tuned again for that video when we get those titles they'll, they'll be coming um, subscribe to check that out Cheers, and we'll see you on the next ones, guys. So, thanks a lot. See you later. Bye.